Hello everyone. In this lesson, we're going to look at steps to repair or reset an app to resolve common issues on Windows 11. When an app is an opening or it is not working for any reason, you can reset it to its default settings to resolve most problems. And you can complete this process in at least two ways, including using the settings app and PowerShell. Okay, let's dive into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. Okay, let's say that you have an app that you downloaded from the Microsoft Store and now you can't open it or it's just not working. So if that's the case, this is what you can do. First, open Start and look for Settings. Then we're going to go to Apps and then on Install Apps, you're going to look for that specific application let's say the Outlook app, and then click the menu button and go to the advanced options. In here, we have the reset section that gives us two options, repair and reset. First, you can try the repair option and that will try to repair the application without affecting the data of the app. And then there is the reset option, which basically uninstalls and reinstalls the application but it also deletes the data from the app. So in the case of the reset option, you may have to log in back into the app and you may have to reconfigure the settings as necessary. First, click the repair button. Once that is done, try to open the app and if it opens and it works as expected, you don't need to reset it. Now, if the app is still not working, you can reset it. And to do that, just click the reset button and then click the button again. And as you can see, you get this warning that this action will permanently delete any of the app's data on the device, including preference and sending details. And that's it. Now the application should be working on your computer. Now, the uh, Settings app lets you quickly reset modern apps from the Microsoft Store. And on the other hand, with the Settings app, it is not possible to reset all the apps or even certain system components like the Start menu. And in these situations, that's when you can use the Reset command on PowerShell. And to do that, open Start, look for Terminal. In this case, I'm just going to use a Terminal. Right-click on it and run it as an administrator. And now we're just going to open a session for PowerShell. Now, first you want to identify the name of the application that you want to reset. And to do that, we can use this command. We press enter and that will list all the apps with their system name. Now, let's say that the problem is with the Microsoft Store app. We can see the name right here. And for that, we need to use this command and then just press enter. And that way, the Microsoft Store app has been resetted and now it should work as expected. Just to give you an example that many of the components on the operating system that are also apps, this one right here, the Microsoft Windows Start Menu Experience Host, that actually is the Start Menu app and replacing this name right here with this would actually reset the start menu to fix issues if something is going on with that application. Now, it is important to know that this command and the settings app method are only instructions to resolve issues with apps from the Microsoft Store and components on Windows. Now, if the problem is with a regular application, the best course of action is to go to the settings app and go to the install apps section and simply uninstall the app and then reinstall it. Usually that resolves many of the issues. Now, if there is a bug with a specific version of Windows, you might need to get an update or it could be a bug in the operating system and you have to wait until there is an update for the operating system that actually fixes that issue. And that's it. Those are quick ways to repair and reset apps on Windows 11. Remember to like the video, leave your comment, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet, and I just hope this video was informative for you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.